our vision that meets with our motto, one people, one nation, one destiny. Freedom from chronic wasting diseases and minor ailments and may herbs and remedies which can prolong life be easily accessible to us and may each dawn be auspicious and each day be full and fruitful in our lives oh peace 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 god bless god bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bobby, for your prayers. And I now invite the Reverend Canon Ivor Bowman for his opening prayers. Brothers and sisters, good afternoon. Those of you who are sitting at the back, can you just ask those at the back? just to be quiet for a moment. Can we just have some quiet for a moment? Can I, before I say these prayers, those of you who can stand, please stand. The late Jamaican reggae star Bob Marley had these words. Good friends we've had, good friends we've lost along the way. Most of you know of someone who was here last year and they are here with us. And that is why I ask you to stand as we reflect on those who touch our lives. As for our country, we have visited Lastly, before I sit down, as you know I'm a pastor, the Guyana Diocesan Association, the 2019 festival will be on Saturday the 6th of July at St. Stephen's Norbury, Warwick Road, Taunton Heath. St. Stephen's Norbury, Warwick Road, Norbury, on the 6th of July, 2019. God bless you all. You've been standing too long. Please sit down. It's 11 o'clock. Thank, thank you, Reverend. Our brother uh, from the Islamic faith, Sayyid, has not yet arrived. Uh, so we will proceed with the program. And to take you through the first part of our program this afternoon, I would like to invite our very own Secretary of the Association, Corin Fabry. Good afternoon, one and all. As the chairman said, I am taking you through the first part of the program. I don't want to waste any more time, but I'm just going to... My now is that about influence of our neighbors such as the USA on our behavior, including our speech. Rome wasn't built in a day is a Salvatore Yankee. It's a good example with its chorus, put a West Indian in Nottinghamshire and overnight he is an Englishman. Our folk heritage draws on many elements of root cultures. It's drawn from African, Indian, English, Portuguese, Amerindian in particular. Guyanese drumming draws on tassa from the Indian culture and African drumming to produce a distinctive genre of music, which is today very popular across communities in Guyana. Music has been crucial 
engendering a sense of belonging among Guyanese. It connects us to family, community, and country, both at home and in our diaspora. The ever popular, oh beautiful Guyana, touches a responsive chord whenever we hear it. Songs, such songs help to reinforce our sense of identity and figure prominently in our struggles for political independence and national unity. These root cultures were passed down across generations, and these events today, I hope, will remind us who we are as a multicultural society. It is events that showcase our cultural commonalities and shared history that makes us truly Guyanese. Despite widely varied geographical roots, Guyanese are unconsciously connected via a web of common and similar mythologies, superstitions, stereotypes, food, style, beliefs, attitudes, and behavior. That is the significance of folk. This festival is an act of solidarity bridging communities, generations, genders, ethnicities, to the art and the design of artifacts and costumes. Ladies and gentlemen, as I close and let me celebrate today, it is my fervent hope that my generation and the others after me can continue to tell these stories, not of the things that divide us as a people, but a story of a resilient people. We are and forever will be one people, one nation, and one destiny. The Guyana High Commission remains committed to partnering with you in the diaspora to celebrate our heritage, encourage and support it. We also encourage Guyanese creativity and to further the development of our country. I do hope that you all have an enjoyable afternoon and wish you and your family a happy independence. Thank you. And those, anyone that have questions regarding any particular thing that you want to find out about Guyana, housing applications, passport applications, any consular service, we have an information section set up in the suburb market area. So please feel to visit us and ask your questions. We are there to help you. Thank you so much. And thank you for listening to Veneta. I don't want to I don't want to, to, to burden you with all the information at the same time. So I'm giving you it little bit by little bit. Remember we talking Guyanese today. So when I say what the banners? We have Guyana Speaks. I'm sure most of you would know of the Guyana Speaks program that is normally held every last Sunday at the Classic in Tuesday. They have a booth here where they are doing a presentation and it's in progress as we speak. So if anyone would like to go and hear what they're talking about, they are in the drama room. Now, because we are in Guyana, if, if you go through this door or go through that door, turn right, go down Church Street, go down Church Street, and then turn into Pomini Road, you will find the drama room where Guyana Street is. When you go down, when you go down Church Street, go on to Regent Street, and you will find Sabbath Market. Keep following you just see your find Sabbath Market where you get all the Guyanese food and everything. Okay? I would also like to, to thank our volunteers again because they without their help we
thing true. I'm taking a pause, I'm going to come back every now and again to inject some life and make sure you're aware of entertaining today. Alright? Corey, it's over to you and the entertainment live. And with this, I call Variety D to take it through the paces. Variety D. Alright, All right, people. Yes, testing, testing. Right, how you do it? Um, 
So, uh, yeah, what I'm saying is that's our student talents for this year. I know it seems short, I know we need more. I wish I was part of that show, but I'm way got my team. Um, we are doing a mailing list, so those who would like to leave their details so we can update you of, of all the events that is coming up. We are also going to be doing a fundraiser on the 6th of July and also in August. And the um, audition for the pageant is on the 20th of July, we are having a casting. So all this information is on the fly. So as I said, please take the flyer really and get in touch with us. Thank you.
somebody's left some roti for me. Because I'm going back for my roti, okay? So I hope there's some left. Alright guys. Now, anybody here from Eskimo? We got any Eskimo people here? We can have? Hey, is that my boy, Batman, the Batman? Batman! Yo, the Batman, the boy! Is it we can have, Batman? Oh gosh, I'm not feeling like you know the boy. Alright, alright. It's only because you come from Wakenham. I know, it looks like I'm the only one, you know? Okay, any provisions? Yay! You see, you see, you see? Okay, we love the beast, don't we? Yes? But we're all guys, right? And any George Town? Yeah. Who's from okay? Who's from Big Market? Who knows Big Market? Yeah. Good. Now we're talking. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Well ladies and gentlemen, so we have a very packed schedule here for you. The first artist that we're gonna bring on for you guys is the beautiful Miss Chani Pisad. Now, Chan is a young, upcoming artist, fantastic. She has her own dancing school. She's been dancing since she was nine years old. She represented Trinidad. She was Miss Trinidad UK. A fantastic young lady. In, in 2016, do you remember seeing her? You will when you see her on stage. She's absolutely beautiful. Now, as you said, she's been dancing, kata, since she was nine years old. She hardly looks older than nine now. Absolutely beautiful. And she's got some exciting news coming up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie is holding a culture fest. This is going to be done on Saturday the 29th of June at the Ilford Sports Club, three Cricklewood Place in Ilford. We'll be sharing out some flyers. Charlie and our party will be sharing out some flyers. So if you like what you see here this evening, Charlie is promoting unity. Culture of the whole Caribbean. Yep. That is Chandley. Her dad is from Guyana, mother is from Trinidad. She's pulling it all together and she's going to make your heart soar with her beautiful dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, hands together please for the beautiful, talented Chandley Prasad. Can we have a high round of applause please? Come on. Chandley, ladies and gentlemen. Right. This one there? Okay. Anticipation is good, don't worry. We're going to Miss Chandley.
Akhirnya nak kaya kaya nak kaya ni saya ye. Nah, ayat sekarang ni saya ye ada juga nak half mereka nak ye ye. I want that for ye ye. Let your problems be kaya ni. And you love kaya na. And you know what you're here for. I want everybody on the count. And since you look so colorful and informative, I am your 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 Guyanese color. Or no, I'm not Guyanese color. I wear white because white signifies pure. And if your Guyanese, you have pure love for each other. And I want to give all the Guyanese an applause. You all stand up in the Caribbean for loving each other and loving your culture. Can I hold your hand and sing for you? Right now with the film, you're busy with the film. Let's give it to her. Come on, let me sing for you fast. Come fast, come fast. I don't have much time. Yes, yeah, let me make some noise for this. Listen, I want a little makeup. I want a little enjoy this thing, you know. Yes. Yes. She thinks she's gonna put on doll clothes next time. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. And I'm gonna sing a song for you, right? And I'm gonna start like this. So let's listen to this, right? You know, when you feel sorry for somebody, there's a certain song that you let out. What is that song? How it goes? How it goes? So when you feel sorry for me, I will love to get this sound on. I wanna cry. <laughs> okay. Oh, do do darling, my sweetheart, you shouldn't do me that. Me I do you nothing, so why am breaking my heart? It's morning, noon, and night. I'm on the telephone, trying to find out why she leave me alone. She leave me alone without a reason. I know I'm by myself and I don't know what to do. I know I will sing some Hindi for you. Singing Daru Pillai, Har Pillai, Marajai. You know nobody don't love me. I'm just And 19 years ago, I sang this song. And if all you know this song when it starts, I want you to wake up, get up. People in the back of your coming front and shake up your congo lung and your kangalang.
name is Ali Sabaru. I thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of the show, boy. Great show. Mr. Alish, the master, the grandmaster. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Will you guys know about it? I see everybody with a nice girl sitting on there, everybody beautiful. But this girl is in the cup of dance. You dance fantastic. This girl over here, you dance fantastic. The gentleman, you guys dance fantastic. We have a coffee, man. But hopefully, as the evening proceeds, we will get you guys back here. Guys, Bloody, the man of integration, unity, Mr. Bloody Coffee, everybody. It's proud to call you, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mom, well done, thank you. All right, guys, you did that was fantastic, wasn't it? That was brilliant. You know what? I don't understand this chair dancing thing. You know? I swear you all came in with legs. But suddenly everybody's sitting down. What's going on? You're tired? No, it's my holiday. It's celebration day. You can't be tired. I've got somebody. We're going to continue the music, okay? We're going to continue the music. And what's coming next is some old time folk songs. You know those that your parents used to sing to you? And then they'd stop at the rude bit. Yes, that's what's coming up next. Some old time folk songs, okay? And poems. Y'all know y'all old time folk songs? Who can give me one old time folk song, y'all know? Lily Gal, Lily Gal, Lily Gal, Lily Gal. Oh, sir. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our artist from Ghana, well, I think living in the UK now, Miss Ingrid Dover Vidal, who is going to do some folk song for us. A round of applause, ladies and Come on. Come on. A bit more than that. Come on. Okay. All right, Ingrid, do you think? Ingrid, let's hear a little bit. We're just waiting to um, plug you in. Right. Let's tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Well, yes, man. How do you do? Um, I've been in England a good while now. Me, my mother, my father, and the five brothers over this side. And I have a sister. They're just plugging me in. They're making me a deputy. Yes, giving me power. Yes, a little bit of power coming through. Because I want you to hear anything a link so you can join in the thing. You with me? Yes, man, I want you with me all the way. All the way, all the little tunes and things that I pick up from Guyana. Oh, sit down good. Uh -huh. All right. Let me see, I I'm worried about this wire, you know. Let me move this side a little bit so.
and miss check me out my wicked as you see just watch me go watch my star watch my flow <laughs> Run away, they will wait for you. Head down, hands up, don't mind what others do. Persevering every day will see you through. For at the end of the day, Shane, it's up to you. Thank you. Now for this one, I need medical blood. Right. Having made the journey from Guyana to England, I went back even further to find out how we did get to Guyana in the first place. And so it made me write this poem, in tribute to it, called Adoption. This one's a bit cooler than the next one, so I need to... Thanks. Adoption. I was birthed by Mother Africa, but quickly removed from her warm, safe womb to continue life on Caribbean shores. Of Ghanaian descent, they told me, reflected in the people who came. Land of Guyana, my parents' country. I took to my heart, patriotic from the start. I had my flag and national song. El Dorado City cheered me along. Their land of Guyana, and so on. The desire to achieve my parents instilled in me. They worked hard for little money, but they built on the foundation of our ancestry. Africa, not England, the mother country. Africa, not England, the mother country. As I have grown, I've learned to absorb the good of the past and leave the rest to waste. For many hurts can slow the heart down, can bring a bleed, can bring a frown. Amazed by our little known history, descended of kings and queens, who me? Yes! Many facts and artifacts too. <laughs> well, you know what a little knowledge can do. So make it your business to read for yourself and get a conviction to help you excel. May the limits to your success not be self-inflicted as you grow in your knowledge and help expand your mind. May you see your culture, your blackness differently of the positive kind. Thank you. Right, here's another one. This time you get to get involved more. Like I said, it's performance poetry, but I love my audience to be a part of that performance. So this next poem is called Fashion Me a People. Something I wrote during Black History to promote young people's understanding of their heroes and heroines of the past so that they too can have that dream and have the desire to make the most of every opportunity, especially of their education and every experience that they go through. So your line is... Fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme. Let me hear it. Now, two of you. Fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme. Reveal to me a history, back in time. Good. All together. One, two. Fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme. Reveal to me a history, back in time. All right, good. Don't do that. Right, this is my drum for today. Because I haven't got one. What? Okay, right. We're going to do it just one verse of it, okay? One verse and a chorus that we started. Right. You ready? Okay. Fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme. Reveal to me a history back in time. They said, fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme. Reveal to me. battle to be free, surmounting obstacles to be the best that they could be. Nelson Mandela, you know so well, but what a Rosa Parks are the wall. Rhyme me a rhyme, reveal to me a history, back in time. Fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme, reveal to me a history that should be mine. Who was the black inventor who gave us traffic lights, or the first black woman who ever took flight? Tell of many triumphs, one on the battlefield of the black regiments who refused to yield. Fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme, reveal to me a history back in time. Let us be an inspiration, let us take you on a tour, and with the key of knowledge open some closed doors. Fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme, reveal to me a history back in time. 
fashion me a people, rhyme me a rhyme, reveal heroines and heroes who should be mine. Thank you very much to Book on Sale. Just by the Thank you. I can call you. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Now, that was superb. I'm glad so many young people are here to hear it as well. Let's hear it again, please. This should be in every library and every school. Let's hear it again for the fabulous English. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Ingrid. That was very inspirational. Ingrid, you know your book, sorry, your book. Um, the book, can it be bought on Amazon? Or it, all right. And what's the price of the book, please? Amazon is I've got six copies and it's a Bible. Brilliant. And if anyone wants a copy of the book, they just come and see you. I'll be at the back there. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, 
um, is one that you can use many dance form to such uh, you can be have a bit of samba, zumba, salsa. Those are dance moves. There are dance moves within that you can extract from those those different fields and incorporate it into the walls. The beauty of the walls that we find, the freestyle walls that we do, is the uniqueness of the dance. And if you can dance. Well enough, you can make it look beautiful, unique and beautiful. Yeah, so we do a short other routine for the um, do the workshop. Then again, if you are interested in doing the one hour workshop, there's a registration place outside and it will be held in um, zero room zero zero three. Yeah? Thanks.
from. And I'm a storyteller. Do you like stories? How much? This much, that much, or that much? Excellent. Crick, Crick, Anansi the Spider. Do we all know who Anansi is? Anansi the half man, half spider. Originally from Africa, came to the Caribbean. When he went to America, he changed into a rabbit, the bear rabbit story. Crick, Crick, Anansi the Spider was so hungry. He decided that he needed something to eat. But everywhere he looked, there was no food. However, he noticed every time his cousin visited him, his cousin looked well fed. What go on? How come he looked so good and we looked so bad? So he decided to follow his cousin. When he left, his cousin didn't take the usual path home. He went down to the river. He looked left, he looked right, and he looked left again. And then he pulled out a pot from behind a tree. And he said to the pot, boil, pot, boil. And that pot began to bubble and boil, boil and bubble. Gave him food, food for soul. And he ate and he ate and he ate until his belly was bursting. And then his cousin put the pot back in its hiding place. So Nancy went to the pot, pulled it out and told it to boil, pot, boil. And it bubbled and boiled, boiled and bubbled and gave it Nancy food. And he too ate until his belly was bursting. Then he thought, mm hmm, I'm going to take this pot home with me. And he took it home and he put it on his back and was walking down, singing so happily. I got food, I got food in my belly, I got food. Then he stopped because he could go no further. So the pot, pot on his back was hurting him. It was getting heavier and heavier. He couldn't take another step. He literally crawled all the way home. When he got home, his children came running. Daddy, Daddy, what's that on your back? Get it off me, get it off me, please. They tried, they tugged, they pulled, pulled, they tugged, but that move. His wife, Cookie, came out and said, Anansi, why are you keeping so much noise? What's wrong with your fears? Fix your fears. <sighs> get it off me, my good woman, get it off me. He, he tried with the children, but still not move. Who does this pot belong to? His cousins were set for. And when he saw the pot, he went, oh Lord, you have it. Yes, get it off me, man, get it off me. It's not mine. Who it belong to? He took a deep breath. The wise old woman. One of the children was sent to get the wise old woman. And when she came, she was not pleased. Now you change ourselves. Secretly, ah, escape ourselves. We're almost ashamed of the way that God chose to make ourselves. So I want my nose a little thinner. My figure a little fitter. My lips not too large or too small. My height about three inches bigger. Go figure. It's the darker skin that wants to be light. And lighter skin prays all day to catch more sunlight. Or sprays on more tone to the bone that makes everything all right. Big wants to be slim, and slim wants curves to bring out the fuller shape that would have made all the difference within. I'm fighting a ball patch. It's a losing battle, and that's a fact. So either I invest in an ocean of useless potions, or I try combing over at the back. You do the math. You usually I wear a hat. We can spend the whole life worrying over what we cosmetically lack. Blacks wanted to be whites. Whites wanted to be black. The grass will always seem greener. Other people's lives will always seem easier. Magazines will always airbrush pictures providing us with the essential milk of amnesia. I came to bury season, but I found that he buried me. I was killed off by an implicit on the top of skin deep ideals. You see, they don't ever want you to be free. In control of your own destiny. There's too many products of stuff that rely on the unhappiness you feel. So you're never gorgeous enough, desirable enough, admirable enough, content enough. Proud of who you are in a world that's ever marred by all this resentful stuff, it's a fundamental bluff. But it's hard to rise above this beast whose burden that we all bear. I hope that one day we can look deep. United we stand, divided we will fall. So let us all stand united. Absolutely. As the Jamaicans say, we run things. Things don't run we. That is the order. Alright. Listen.
you've been listening to some lovely poetry, I think it's time you jumped up. Yes? Time, yes, yeah, somebody agrees. Time you jumped up and moved and really got in the groove, okay? And that means soca. There's nothing else but soca. You guys hear about Blazing Fire? You guys heard of Blazing Fire? Blazing Fire! No? Well, I take the word Blazing Fire says no. I just look at him and sometimes 